research in arts and humanities is important because it helps us acknowledge and understand the human experience, culture, and arts. It is essential for the reasons that it preserves cultural heritage. The research helps us document history, arts, and literature, which can help preserve um, those things for the future generation. People should know our culture and people should know their roots. Uh, the process for making this production and for making this dance musicals uh, is very rigid. It's very uh, intense. We started with research of the material of uh, what dance musical we will uh, present and also uh, it is in the theme of of the time of the martial law so we decided to have the father romano story and also the escalante massa they can discover the artist creative processes and um, through this they can inspire they um, it will inspire new ideas and concepts Right after the research process, uh, we brainstorm on the sets, designs, uh, stage design, and also the, the process in creating the dance. So um, we take it by scene and also we take it by, um, by feel, uh, what the students would really like to show and to showcase on their dance musical. So, this is definitely a student effort on creating the musical from stage management, from uh, production managing, uh, choreography, and also uh, creating the design, the stage design and the production design. So what we do as mentors is just to guide them and to create the path for them in order for them to have that uh, sense of process and that sense of direction. The first time I saw their performance, I was teary-eyed back then because I was so proud of the students. You know, from research paper down to the production, down to the actors and actresses of the show, were all spectacular. I mean, all of the hard works of these students are worth it. Worth it. It's, it's worth it. So. I felt so happy and proud of my AD students. Every batches has its own unique potential. So if we try to talk about the recent um, batch of the Arts and Design Grade 12, I can say that they've really, they've really put so much effort in their works. They do not settle for less. I really salute their dedication their commitment for the theater because they are doing their best. They really applied what I have uh, taught to them about the, the planning, the implementation, and the monitoring and the evaluation of the dance musical. The experience is very great because we learned a lot about our past and what happened to Cebu during the martial law. We feel honored that we are able to perform it on the main stage and eventually on Panag Tipon. Our teachers and mentors helped us a lot during our research project. All of the techniques, all of the process, without them we wouldn't be able to successfully brought it up and tell the story to the general people. Our experience for Escalante Massacre was very eye-opening to say the least. It allowed us to take a dive into history and see the experiences of the working class of Negros Occidental in 1985 as they experienced the effects of martial law. I think one of the biggest problems during our production was miscommunication. There's a lot of people in our production and, and a lot of differing opinions, ways of life, backgrounds, personalities, so it's little to no surprise that a lot of people would disagree with each other. Without our mentors and teachers, I think it wouldn't have been possible for our production to be such a success. They were there for every step of the way, 
in a way, we were our lighthouse guiding guiding us to the shore when where the way ahead was start. Upon watching their dance musical, it's actually very um, one of the very nice performances sa Grade 12 dance musicals. Kay if you actually watched their dance musicals, maka goosebumps yun.